Ağrıdu naukası kalay yemli uzun bolmaganda aukal kengleştirici bilu uşun aukas şagdayların dikkat binen baklap turu gerek. Bırak per başka şey bolup çıktı. Resting ships, hundreds of kilometers from the nearest water. This is not some kind of art installation, but a bitter reminder that once this was the shoreline of one of the world's biggest lakes, the Aral Sea. Now it's the site of an ecological disaster. Sol vaxtları mən bərhə balıqlar menen tengizge keçətuqun yedim. Yetətin yedim. Balıq avla etini yedik. Av taslar 10, 20, 30 həbdə bir vaxtda 100 tonna balıq tutaytuqun yedik. Mən yarım yıl davamında yügə qaytbaytuqun yedim. At its greatest size, the Aral Sea was only slightly smaller than the size of Ireland. For centuries, it was the world's fourth largest inland lake offering its treasures and sustaining many settlements where people enjoyed prosperous lives as fishermen, farmers, herders, craftsmen, and traders. When the sea began to dry up, the ships were unable to return to their ports, which were now too shallow. This is how these legendary ship graveyards appeared in the desert. <laughs> Water from the two rivers that fed the lake started being siphoned off via canals for irrigation. This unsustainably high consumption of water for irrigation led to the Aral Sea beginning to dry up. And in just the past 60 years, the sea has lost 90% of its size and has been transformed into the Aral Kum Desert. Aral Seabed, for several decades, has been the source of toxic salts and sand which are spreading by windstorms across the region and beyond, escalating the ecological, health, food, and economical risks, harmfully influencing around 700,000 people who live in the epicenter of this tragedy. Unfortunately, we cannot bring the water back to the sea and reverse this tragedy, but what we can do is create hope for a better future. We, the Accelerator Lab of the United Nations Development Program in Uzbekistan, which searches for and promotes innovative solutions, believe that any challenge, difficulty, or dead-end situation faced in the world can be overcome with the efforts of a global family. We are part of the generation who witnessed the disappearance of the Aral Sea in real time, but we can also become a generation who changes the course of history and creates the Aral Sea forest. We have already attained strong support from the local community affected by the Aral Sea disappearance, from government partners, and from international organizations. Now we need the support of more like-minded people. We can achieve this by planting Saksau, a native drought-resistant tree. Just one tree can fix and hold up to four tons of toxic sand. We aim to plant these native trees in the Aral Seabed and transform not less than 100 hectares into a Saksau forest. This is a first but critical step for covering the Aral Sea with a green blanket, protecting the environment. Your contribution means a real action to give people hope for a brighter future, mitigate climate change and CO2 emissions, prevent the further spread of toxic salts and sand across Central Asia and beyond, help transform the seabed desert into a green blanket of trees. Let's make this change together. Join our mission, plant a tree, become a part of the team, and be the voice of change for the people of the Aral region. <laughs>